Good morning and welcome to Business Growth Accelerator Live. Great to have you here again. And I want to go through what we did yesterday with our recruiting system. But before, remember, what I'm helping you here today with is to give you thoughts and ideas to move your business forward in baby steps so you can make the changes that you want into your business so you can make great changes that moves you forward. So I'm giving you sensible strategies for serious business owners who want solid results. And if you're here to do that, hey, then listen some more, because I'm going to talk about the recruiting process again. Because if you recall from yesterday, we were dealing with Chris and his team, and they were looking to put an admin PA person into their business. And we had that recruiting system where we had eight candidates that came in, and they were live in front of us. And after Chris had let them, them know what his vision, his mission, and his values were, then each of them had a scenario that they had to stand up and present in front of everyone else. Now, bear in mind that these people didn't know each other. So it was kind of a daunting task, but it let us know who was suitable for the job. And I'll tell you what, uh, I think Chris had uh, 27 applications. And remember, he had asked that uh, uh, they send a video in. 12 of them sent videos in. Uh, so all of a sudden, people have deselected themselves. So what is that, uh, 14 or 16 or so, uh, didn't do video. So they weren't any good for the job. They deselected themselves. The 12 that sent the videos in, uh, they were really good. But here's the kicker. When we said to people that they would have to stand up and do a presentation uh, on a, a scenario or a role play, uh, another four dropped out. Again, a great deselection uh, process where people said, oh, I can't do that, I don't want to do that. Brilliant. If you're going to be a PA or a really good admin, you've got to be able to stand up. You've got to make those decisions or be able to talk to people on the hoof. So by deselecting themselves, Chris and his team have, uh, have dodged a bullet. So we had eight people there. And, you know, the cliche normally is that uh, they've done a really good job and it's really hard to pick. But I'll tell you what, these eight, eight candidates, they were really, really good. And it was really difficult. And I'll tell you, one of them blew me away. Um, when she came in, I thought she might have been 19 or 20. She was 16. Only 16. She had the confidence to stand up and do her presentation. And I thought, wow, I don't know whether I would have been able to do that at age 16. But here's this young lady uh, with the confidence to stand up and give the role play from the scenario that she'd been given. And what had happened is the candidates had were given the uh, scenario. They didn't know it beforehand. They then had two minutes to come up uh, with their thoughts and ideas as to how they would uh, deal with that scenario. So for a 16-year-old to do that, um, I was. I was actually blown away, as I was with the other candidates who I thought uh, were really good. But anyway, afterwards, after we'd um, given the, uh, uh, the, Chris had given his presentation, they'd done their role play. Chris then asked them, hey, stand up again and tell us why you're the best person for this position. And again, some really outstanding answers came on, out. Uh, I did notice one word, though, that just about all of the candidates used, and that was think. I think I would be the best. I think I would do this job really well. As opposed to saying, I am the best or I will do this job really, really well. There was just that, that think in it. And that was just about mindset that told me about headspace. So we uh, thanked the candidates and let them know that uh, we would get back to them, or we wouldn't, but Chris would, within 24 hours. Because what we do is we move this along at a fast pace. So afterwards, uh, the four of us sat around, Chris and his 2IC, Janelle and I, and we went through all the candidates, uh, rating them on uh, the prerequisites that we had there. Um, and I'll tell you, the scoring was really, really close, but we came out with two really, really outstanding candidates. <clears throat> Chris has uh, called them and uh, has uh, called them back to come in for a one-to-one -one interview on Monday where he will dig even deeper. So we had the interviews, uh, sorry, the role plays Thursday. On Monday, uh, they're coming in for those two. I also said to him that he needs to ring up uh, the candidates that weren't successful, but also to send a handwritten thank you note to them to uh, thank them for coming in because they did really well. And apparently when he uh, he rang the uh, couple of the candidates that were unsuccessful, 
they actually sent an email back thanking him for the process that he had taken them through. While they didn't enjoy the role play so much, they said they really enjoyed the process and they felt valued. So I thought that's really, really good to know and just shows the value of the recruiting process that we take our clients through. So Chris uh, will talk with these two uh, candidates on Monday. Uh, again, he said to me, what if I like them both? And I said, then you've got a, a hard decision as to whether you take them both or just the one. Uh, that's his decision, not for me to do. The really important thing is that once he has decided on which candidate he likes, it's then to take up reference checks. And you must take up reference checks because if you don't, it's at your peril. And the referees will give you a good idea uh, as to what the person is like. Get away from the normal bland answers that you'll probably get with a reference check. And one of the questions that uh, I ask my clients to always ask right at the end, oh, um, by the way, is there anything else I should know about this person? It's amazing what actually comes out. It's incredible. It just opens a whole, uh, whole uh, drawer of, uh, of really good or some difficult stuff. That's where you really get to know the client. Once Chris has done that, then the last thing he's going to do is to prepare a brilliant 90-day induction plan. And that is so important because the first 90 days of anyone's tenure in a good business is, as I said, those 90 days. Do it right, you're going to have a great, great person working with you. If you get it wrong, um, then they're just going to go back to probably coming to work and maybe not enjoying it so much, working for a paycheck. The 90-day uh, induction plan is incredibly important. So that's the recruiting process that we went through. It was a really, really good day yesterday. And I've got to admit, the, the caliber of the candidates, as I expected, uh, was really, really high. And uh, Chris and, uh, and Ryan have actually got a couple of really good candidate, candidates that they can uh, uh, take on board if they, well, I choose one of them. There you go, recruiting process. Now, you'll see around here somewhere, the Business Growth Accelerator uh, Facebook page that you can join. Would love you to come and join us. The other thing is, if you've liked this post, please like it, share it. Uh, if you've got friends who you think would uh, value this, ask them to come along. Uh, comment on it if you want. Anything you disagree with, or if you like some more uh, thoughts, or so you have a question, get back to me. I'll happily answer those questions on recruiting, because when you get your recruiting process right, you have some really, really great staff. See you on Monday. Remember, it's Saturday and Sunday. Time for business to have a break, recharge, relax, and get ready for the next week.